Let's talk about X-Men 97 episode five. Because, oh, oh my God. Oh Lord, oh my God, dude. It, this episode was crazy, bro. There will be spoilers ahead for this video, and I mean major spoilers, so if you have not seen the episode yet, then go watch it and come right back. But let's get into it. First, I just wanna say that Cyclops is going through it right now. Protect my boy Scott, because this man is just, he's confused. He frankly does not know what to do. And this man is going through the weirdest love triangle of all time. But I will get into the love triangles of X-Men 97 in another video, so stay tuned for that. One thing I love about this episode is that it is centered on Gambit and Magneto. It's also centered around Rogue as well, which is one thing that I really love. But she's also mixed into a weird love triangle as well. Also really felt good to see my guy Nightcrawler come back, that was really sick. Now we're exploring the mutant country of Janisha, and everything seems fine, right? Oh, but... It things escalate because yeah, sure, Rogue is enjoying all of this, but she still has to deal with the fact that Magneto just asked her to be his queen. And mind you, she's still in love with Gambit. But the backstory of these two characters is, that was nuts too. Because this man Magneto literally led her to believe that mutants were this and mutants were that. And that basically was his gateway to basically being like, hey, you know, I got the Riz, you feel me? But yeah, now Magneto is technically about to be the king of a new empire or a mutant empire. And obviously this did rub Gambit the wrong way. Like this man was not liking it. Then you got the chemistry between the two other genes' minds just going in a whole blur because this man Cable just pulled up. Nathan Summers is now Cable. He did it. He is now a warrior of the future. The, let me tell y'all, I got so excited when I saw this scene. I got so excited. But apparently Cable is warning this Jean Grey that something is coming and something bad is happening. And so much happened in the last 15 minutes of this episode, kid you not. Because a Godzilla threat level sentinel is now attacking the entire island, killing a lot of mutants, bro. I started getting anxiety because I didn't know what, I didn't know what was going on. There was just so much happening in the span of a few minutes. Scratch that, a few seconds. Then we got Magneto over here sacrificing himself. Now we don't know if Magneto is actually dead. Honestly, I hope not because that would kind of get my hopes down for the future of this man's character. But Gambit is the MVP of this episode. I don't care what y'all say, Gambit is the MVP. He's already one of my favorite mutants in the X-Men, but this episode just solidified it way more. I'm gonna go ahead and say it, that this has got to be the best show that Marvel Studios has ever made. Like on top of Loki, <laughs> X-Men 97 just takes things to a whole new level. And RIP my boy Gambit, man. I don't think he's actually dead, but this entire scene where Rogue is just breaking down because she actually ended up choosing Gambit over Magneto just hit so hard. She was like, sugar, I can't feel you anymore. That, that hit me deep in my soul, man. This episode truly gave me Avengers Infinity War slash the beginning of X-Men Days of Future Past vibes. We need more. Please, next episode, right now. 